230. And it's so stable at these speeds. Really, it doesn't care. So hello people, this is Moose Carblock and you're currently joining me in the SL43 AMG and we will now take it on the Autobahn to see how it performs on the Autobahn despite having that little fossil in the engine with the only 381 horsepower. So let's see what it can do. So people, we are now entering the Autobahn with the SL43 AMG. Let's put it into the Sport Plus and give it some throttle here. Let's go. Whoa, that was a huge kick. 140, 150, 160. Beautiful animation. 180. 200, 210, 220. Yeah, it's doing quite all right. At higher speeds, I can feel that it isn't the fastest anymore, but it's doing quite all right. The sound in here is actually okay. I will measure the 100, 200 in a second, so we will see how fast it really is. Look, there's some banks. Let's go. Ah, that was a kick. He is P kicked in. 180. It's shifting aggressive. 200. 220. The wind noise is getting really loud. 230. What the hell just happens? 250. 260. I think that's the limiter. 270? How fast can this go? <laughs> 280? Whoa! This car doesn't have a limited speed. Ah, it's here at 280. 280 is the limiter. 285. So yeah, we hit the top speed of it, I think. <laughs> the noise is really loud, really present in here. wind noise but the car is so stable actually it doesn't feel like 270 I have to be completely honest it feels completely doable 280 okay we need to get this exit here so I will now switch the side of the Autobahn and then see you on the other side and then see you on the other side so people I have now switched sides let's measure the 100 200 and also the claimed top speed of this is 275 and we did like 285. So that's pretty good. Really nice that this car hasn't got a limiter. So let's measure the 100, 200 here. Let's go. That should be it. We need fuel, of course. 30 always ah maybe that's just the sound it makes when it's getting close to the red line this fake sound <laughs> but it sounds like I'm banging off the limiter but it feels so stable at high speeds it's not even a joke anymore <laughs> like it doesn't care 270 that's its top speed well, let's get on the brakes here because it's a little bit crowded so people this car actually moves and it's so stable at these speeds really it doesn't care for example the Kia Stinger was really bumpy from 240 above I was jumping on this Autobahn right here and this like 270 doesn't care that's really really that's quite impressive that this car feels so stable at these speeds just look at this guy what is he doing man some throttle here let's see if this actually banging off the limiter or if it is a fake sound 6,000 6,5 it's a fake sound 
It's a fake sound. This car isn't banging off the limiter. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have expected that. Why oh, it kicks down. They, they have managed to do it. They have like programmed it to be really aggressive on the shifts, on the kickdowns. So honestly, for the people buying this, they are obviously the people that don't really care about power. Otherwise, they will buy a 63 because of that V8 and stuff. So these people that buy this car obviously don't care so much about the, car, uh, the power. They want a cool cruiser with a little bit of power. And this is it. This has enough for people like this. And it drives really good. It does have some power. Look. It's still really good, actually. But is it worth the 127,000 euro starting price here in Germany? I don't know. You have to decide for yourself. This was my Autobahn video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.